Okay, this is going to be one of those uh, behind the scenes. I'm going to do an Instagram. I haven't done one of these kind of Instagrams in a long time. I would post on Instagram and stuff like that. I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell Instagram why. But uh, let's start off. I guess I should turn the air conditioner off. It's a little, well. As usual, oh, let me get up and get the, yeah, the phone is charging over here, hey. Yeah. It's a Sunday, late night, it's after, uh, after 12. <laughs> I was at a, a movie, what did I go see? Oh man, I keep on forgetting this thing. It's a, there's a film festival, uh, uh, Workers Unite film festival and I went and saw uh, a film about um, Workers Unite film festival I went and saw a um, one I don't, don't okay great this is it here Did I tell you about it Gosh. you know sometimes these uh uh, Sunday versus Sunday. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. What the heck? Oh, let me go. They're going to show it again on uh, Thursday. Show more. Thursday, they pull down the one because the show's ready. Here it is. It's called uh, The Lost Generation. Outside the mainstream, it's a film about. Uh, oh, they're going to tell me. Oh, yeah, here it is. Lost generation outside the mainstream. The next time it's going to play is. Well, let me read what it is. It's uh, this film is an effort to elaborate on the history of many musicians of the 1970s. Okay, mainly in New York, I think. Who's well, I know because it's a film. Whose music, whose music has undergone, uh, has gone unrecognized by a larger audience. Most of these artists have international followings and continue to perform, rec record, and document their art and their lives. Some of the musicians, entrepreneurs, and listeners featured in the, in the documentary include Michael Thompson, Ken Wells, a bunch of other people, uh, 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 Ross Moshe, uh, Ted Daniel, Dick Griffin, Owen Davis, um, uh, Craig Harris, a bunch of people, but in fact, you know, I met Owen Davis tonight at the thing, you know, I didn't know it was him, I just, I've been taking selfies, you know, I've been taking selfies because, as you know, as you may or may not know, I have this project uh, in South Africa, you know, for our uh, hot house, you know, our hot house, see this hat, so the hat, uh, I take pictures with, with people, selfies with, with people with this hat, and then, oh, let me show you an example, uh, come on, move out the way, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to laminate them, right? Those your individual laminate. Come on now, this thing's always getting in the way. Laminate them, and uh, and then post them. Up. Let me show you on. Got a bunch of people. I'll show you on. Where is he at? Uh, is this him here? Yeah, this is him here. That's this cat here. He's in the film like that. Anyway, um, then I laminate them and then we're going to make a montage on, on, on the walls like a bunch of all these people I've been taking pictures of. I guess I should show you that. Oh, dang. I've been taking a bunch of, see all, see all these? It's a bunch of people. A bunch of, you know, it doesn't matter who, well, that's it. But the idea is that the hat is the, people think I'm the, because it's my selfie, right? But it's not really, it's the hat. See, I only take these selfies with the hat. So let me put this up here so I can start the Instagram. Not anytime soon. We're going to talk a long time. I ain't talked to y'all a long, a long, a long, a long, a long. Because as you know, the YouTube channel is supposed to be, it's supposed to be um, like a, you know, a, a, a memoir of my adventures like that, you know. So, <clears throat> so I haven't talked to you in a long time. So I told you about the hat thing. So I've been taking pictures like that. I've been a bunch of places, uh, Dwyer Center, a bunch of places. Um and, and and as usual, this morning I took a walk, 
and you know, lately I've been doing a you know a certain walk because I'm here. I go to my my healing tree, the tree that when I had my little incident with the sea, I, this one tree in this little park, and I, I I lay I do my exercise, but then I lay my back on this tree and chill for a while, right? But I took another way around, and after uh, and going through Columbia University, um, uh, there's a, a farmers market or whatever you want to call it, a market that happens every Sunday, and so I was just passing by. Because uh, I walked a different way, and I ran into this, these people, Hawthorne Valley people, right? And they are doing daily fix. This is kraut juice. It's fermented juice, wild fermented, wild, wild fermented raw probiotic live juice like that. You see, that's what this is. And uh, this one here, I was going to take this one. It's like a ginger one. There's one with. Uh, uh, oh, you call that um, a turmeric? There's a beet beet root one, but this one, you know, hey, got my glasses, so I better use them. Got to read the, read the label. Got my reading glasses. Hey, be good to to use it. <laughs> uh, uh, keep refrigerated. Gut smart and just plain good. This raw, unpasteurized juice is naturally extracted from wild fermented vegetables rich in probiotics and packed with electrolytes. This tasty beverage helps keep your gut happy. Take a shot daily. Mix into dressings. Kick off uh, your own home ferment. Oh, kick off your own home ferment. So I guess you can use this as a base for ferment. Ingredients for this particular one. Organic green cabbage. Uh, organic Napa cabbage. Uh, organic red cabbage, my favorite. Uh, organic carrots, organic radish. Why well, I had radish in a long time. Radish is good for you. Uh, organic onions, organic ginger, organic garlic, organic hot peppers, <gasps> organic uh, caraway seeds, organic juniper berries, organic bay leaves, and sea salt. Oh, that's interesting. Well, anyway, you're supposed to take a shot now. It's late at night. I shouldn't be doing this, right? Because it might booze me and go to sleep. But guess what? I sleep through anything. So I'll take a little, they say a shot glass, two ounces, something like that. But this is a old yogurt glass I particularly like. And they say you can't drink it out the bottle and then put it away because I guess your saliva or whatever would change it. It's like yogurt. You not like yogurt, but then you can't really, you shouldn't eat eat yogurt and then you know keep on dipping the spoon in the yogurt and then put that away because I don't know your saliva and all that stuff does something, I guess. So I'm gonna pour a little bit in here for tonight. That's the outside I just did. I I I always lick glasses like with my wine and stuff that I know nobody else drinks. So I'll put that back in the refrigerator. And this is what I'll this much is what I'll drink. I guess this is two ounces or less. You know, daily. So um, I won't do nothing tomorrow morning. I'll do it later in the afternoon. Because mm. late afternoon, I went and, um, um, so like I said, I sort of filmed. Then I met this filmmaker there. This Brazilian filmmaker. I can't pronounce his name. His name is uh, uh, Elicio. Elicio? E-L-C-I-O. And so, uh, E-L-C-I-O-C. And his last name is uh, Melo. So I'm going to see his film tomorrow at 4.30 at the Cinema Village. Village Cinema? Wherever. On, uh, they're on 12th Street. Right off of, uh, I guess, fifth, off, right off, closer to university. Right? And maybe I'll interview him. Maybe I'll talk to him afterwards about his film. Who knows? Because film is part of my specialty. Wow, the peppers is nice. Mm. Like I said, I'm not going to be hurry. Okay, tell you told you that. Um, let me take this off. I'm not going to use this for the thing. So my plans have changed. I was going to be here do this thing procedure next week. But I don't know. I'm still up in the air. But I might leave back for Virginia on. I probably will leave back for Virginia on Thursday. Because I go with the flow. You know, I get things happen in my life. I just flow with it. Right? Okay, so I have to tell people about this, this thing. And, and I've been posting on Instagram the, the pictures, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to change 
Well, I guess I still post it, but then I got to take all the photos on my phone. And I, I'm not I'm afraid because I have plenty of space, but I think what I'm going to do, of course, it's going to thing. I'm going to put it on this drive here. Uh, I'm going to start putting them on this drive here and carry it and carry this with me. Yeah, I'll put this on that drive there. So when I go back to South Africa, I have more on one drive. So when I start doing this thing, because they have to, have to laminate these pictures like it's a button, you know what I'm talking about. I laminate the pictures and put them over there. Okay, you know. Okay. Um, so, the, or maybe I'll say that into the camera. Mm. Well, we'll see. Then you're going to get it repeated, right? Okay, so let's, let's go behind the scenes. Uh, glasses, glasses, glasses. Uh, oof. I had an eventual thing. Oh, and I, I think we're going to hook up with a uh, uh, new world warrior, my brother. Because um, I think I think what's going to happen with the plays that I'm supposed to do, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have his theater company do it, deal with it. I'll see what happens. I'm going to give him that play and another one that I did. I had to do more. Oh, by the way, at the film festival, I did meet a cat there that, that uh, was in the... Uh, Sun Ra band and uh, uh, you know and from 75 something like that on so he didn't meet Henry Dumas because Henry Dumas was there like 60 like a 66 six, 68 like that before he, he got shot but he told me that his band and another band everybody this is this whole underground Henry Dumas thing right so I, he told me that these both these bands are working as they're going to collaborate on, on a Henry Dumas project this is interesting Oh, Henry Dumas is going to be in the air. This is good. This is good. I got to talk to Loretta. We'll see what happens. I want to see it, but I don't know, man. People have got all that things. Okay, here we go. Let's do the Instagram. It doesn't matter what time I do Instagram because I got people in South Africa. And they, I guess it's just, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning now there. So they're just waking up. And the night people here or the night people here. Let's see what we can do. All right. Uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's hit it. To do ta, to do ta, 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 pom, pom. To do ta, to do ta, 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 pom, pom. I guess you, oh, hey, Instagram is me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Hey, you're wondering why I'm doing a little jazz riff. It's because I saw a film tonight, right? It's like Lost, it's called Lost Generation. You know, it's about it's about musicians from like basically the seventies that they started. Well, oh, from well, it's, it focuses on from the seventies. These musicians, they're like they they're like me. They're like a bunch of us, right? They're like under the radar, you know, because the big ones get it, and, and 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 of course the system can use the big ones to make more money from. Them. But these folks are constantly working. They're dedicated to the music or dance or whatever it is, and they and they whatever. It was a good film. Well, I shouldn't say that. Let me let, let me be uh, honest. It was a. Um, it was interesting how it was done with, them, with no money, because uh, this is a documentary. But the guy went to NYU and had some students, to a bunch of students, and had them go out and do interviews. You know? So it was sort of, and then, you know, they had to edit it down. And da, da, da. I guess it was a class project. Something that I want to do uh, in Cape Town with another class. Hey, hey let, me, let me get a shout out. Hey, Dylan, be prepared. When I get back in January, we got to talk. I got a project for your class. Let's see what happens. Okay. Don't worry about that part. Um, so uh, anyway, so but it's sort of you know it's it's what it is. You know the cinematography is not consistent because but you know whatever it is and but but it's worth seeing. It's one of those things that it's like, it's like what we do here. You know a lot of times it's not, but you know you have to do it because you know uh, if you don't tell your story then I, in fact I encourage everybody to tell their story. Put it on basically put it on YouTube. Um, or what well, Instagram I guess it holds it, but you know put in a bunch of sources so that when when these big companies start messing with you stuff you know then it. You know, it won't, won't be whatever. But what I would tell you, oh, so the thing I've been working on while I'm here actually is what I call the African Hat Project. African Hat Project is like a, I, I, I think, maybe I explained, explained to you before, but I need to put it in a such a way that uh, I can, uh, maybe I just need to do it on YouTube. I don't know. I have to put it in such a way that, that when I um, talk to people, you know, and I want to explain to them, then I can send them the URL, you know, and they can, you know, see what it was. But see, this is the African Hat right here. Dirt up, boom, boom, bucket hat. It's made by my wife. She's African, by the way. So it's an that's why it's an African hat. It's made by an African designer, see, right? But it's reversible. See? You do the other side, too. It's reversible. You know, so if you have predominantly brown, you do that. If you have predominantly 
black and green, you do the other. I have black pants on and green top, so let me keep on. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to bed. I'm not going to wear the same clothes tomorrow, so I'll leave it on this side. I'll try to find some brown tomorrow. Anyway, so and so one of the pictures I take is uh, is with this hat. You know, it's the selfies with these hats. And those things, I'm going to take those, and uh, and when I get back to South Africa, I'm going to have the little photos, and it'll be a certain size, uh, laminated, right? And 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 it says, sounds kind of interesting, but you know, he said well, that's going to cost a lot of money, brother. Well, it is, but you know, right now the the uh, the, the exchange rate for South Africa, you know, you get um, you get uh, one. Put this thing back on. You have uh, one rand is no matter one dollar is equal eighteen point one five rand. Basically, eighteen rands, one dollar do eighteen rand. So it's not going to cost me that much but we'll see what happens okay so that's all i want to tell you so so it's been going swimmingly well i got a lot of people i just keep on taking some people I identify some people i don't but it's interesting because i people before when you're trying to take people's pictures whatever it was people would be sort of reticent you know what i mean oh, reticent oh the brother used a big word he probably don't know what it means but he used a big word oh he must be educated oh sorry uh uh, so it's interesting. People, that, can I take a selfie with you? Oh, sure. And I was at this film thing. I was taking selfie with this with people. And it ends up, a lot of people were in the film. Like, like I don't say famous people. Well, famous for that level. They don't matter. But you understand what I'm saying. Okay. So, no, this is Instagram. So I got to make it instant, 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 instant. instant. It got to be fast, 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 fast. So this is as fast as I, <laughs> I go. Okay. Oh, by the way, so tomorrow I'm going to go. This is the film festival. Is that, it's the called Workers Unite Film Festival. Anyway, it's uh, it's quite interesting. Um, I had some shorts that I really liked. There was a short about this woman that works at uh, Whole Foods. Her name is Renee. And it was really good. She talks about like the humanity of being, uh, how, how cash is and necessary. And these machines that they have now that, that do the automatic stuff. <sighs> ah, okay, sorry. Um, but anyway, back to the point. So this is filmmaker. Uh, uh, at least uh, E L C I O C Mello M E L O Lucio Mello. I'm probably messing up his name. Anyway, the, I'm gonna see his film tomorrow. It comes on at 4:30. So, and then perhaps I'll be able to interview him. You know, afterwards we'll see what happens. All right. Okay. You take care. Talk to you later. Bye. 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 Oh, bye. 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 Okay. So that's what we do with that. You know. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in or whatever have you don't know, this is a uh, behind the scenes. What I do is I realize at some particular point that what I put on Instagram, you know, it's, it's, it's Instagram archives it. I guess it keeps on Instagram, but they, but you know, I have no, and I can always get it. But suppose they change policy and stuff like that. Ooh, or suppose they do something jacked up, and you know, uh, let me see, what should I name this? Uh, uh, about upper oh the the brother talks talks about talks on no it talks about uh, a film festival. Mm -hmm. Film festival, F E S festival. Uh, I'll just leave it like that. You know, we gonna make it. Uh, so I put a film festival. No, let me put the whole thing about about the the workers. No, workers unite. W O R K. They are workers. Oh, that something in about the workers unite. You uh, and oh, that's not good. Space U N. U N I T E. I should say the 11th annual. This is the 11th annual? Yeah. About the 11th. 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 
that's annual a and n u annual workers unite then it has an explanation point uh, there explanation point film festival uh, at I'll just leave it like that because it plays uh, I think they play well who knows um, yeah the workers unite film festival yeah that's it uh, tag people let me see if they they probably have it tag workers unite Workers, K E R. Workers unite. U N I T. I'm into this. This uh, what do you call it? Oh. Oh, did I spelled workers wrong. W O. Not that I spelled wrong. My thumbs. Workers unite film festival right there. Boom. Tag them. Uh, what should I do? This other guy? No, I'll just leave it like that. Workers unite film festival. And then, uh, add location, Manhattan, New York, add to series, yeah, add to series. I'll put random randoms. That's always a good one, random randoms. Done. And I'll share it. I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to do my, to people, I guess whoever gets it, gets it. I'll leave it like that. So that's it. Uh, it's done. Uh keep on drinking my uh, uh, daily fixed kraut juice wild fermented whatever my gut's gonna be healthy but I could take that I like that I got my uh, some DNA thing back I forgot what it said about my taste buds whatever but I can take a lot of stuff maybe I will tag some people I'm gonna let tag some people I'll leave it alone okay Oh, I forgot to tell him that I'm, I'm going to take the, the hat thing and put it on the on the dry, but and this, you know how we do this, this is off the cuff. You know, I have an idea in my head. Sometimes it goes fully fruition. Sometimes it don't, right? Okay, so I'll talk to you all later, right? Be well.